Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I am going to talk about Halloween in Throne and Liberty. The Halloween event is up and running and I want to give you a few tips and tricks on what to pay attention to. If you find this video useful, make sure to like this video and if you haven't subscribed, I'm super close to my first 3000 subscribers. I would really appreciate if you do. With that being said, let's jump to the video. All right, so what do we have here? Let's talk about the first things that you need to do immediately after you join um, and you log into your character. And this is going to be, um, you know, claiming these candy corns that you need. Now, these candy corns are required for you uh, so that you can do an event dungeon in the game right now. And it actually can drop you some pretty cool cosmetics and stuff like this. So I highly recommend Go in and log in with all your characters, not only your main, but also with your alts. Make sure that you claim these every single day. Now, there is a few things that I want to, uh, you know, pull your attention to. Uh, you get one per day from here, but you can also get one uh, from uh, the event vendors. And these are over here in... Uh, Vienta Village, if you go over there, if you port to Vienta Village, this vendor here, obviously you want to buy every single thing that is being offered over here because it's only for Solons and of course you need the chocolate for cooking uh, the, the event meals and you get to buy one candy corn here as well. So this is great, you can definitely do these um, and buy, make sure you log in every single day go to this uh, NPC and purchase off the uh, the additional stuff and candies that you get there. All right, and here at this event guy, you can uh, exchange a couple of things. You can you can exchange for some cosmetics. You there's a headpiece, there is some um, ink that you can use trade on long stones with weekly limits. Make sure you spend these properly, especially get the weekly limit limit once before the reset. This is really good. I highly, highly recommend this. Extracts and stones as well are really good. Basically, everything in here that has a weekly limit is actually pretty, pretty good. Now, keep in mind that you can get the Hallow Knight. You can get these from drops from the dungeon itself. If we go to co-op dungeons, if we go to the Haunted Labyrinth, you'll see that you'll get the pumpkins from there, which is your exchange currency, basically. And then you also have the cosmetics that can also drop. I had guildmates got these yesterday from their first tries so yeah you also get ornate ornate coins which is pretty neat um and you also get this abundance bundle with which is also great because it can give you end game materials now the other thing that you need to pay attention to and that's pretty much basically most of the halloween event that is going on is you need to go now and do your dungeons um two to three times per day right you can you can absolutely stack them up and do them afterwards um, once per week when you play on a weekend if you want but you can also do them every single day um, to get your uh, rewards now i will show you a little bit of the dungeon so that you know how this looks like and what you need to pay attention to but long story short the dungeon is super easy it has actually some interesting mechanics on the bosses that we found pretty fun with the guild to do the other day all right, like I said, uh, the mechanics of the dungeons are actually pretty easy. Uh, let me just walk you through a few things here to notice. So over here, you see pumpkins on the ground. Um, actually, you need to find one key from those pumpkins. But as you can see, when you uh, start clicking on them, they actually uh, jump out and um, yeah, just either kill them or continue on trying to open up pumpkins until you find the key. After you find the key, all of you guys need to go to this, um, cart, um, or wagon, if you will, pumpkin wagon. And, um, this sends you out to the second stage of the dungeon. If you do, don't get on the wagon for whatever reason, just, uh, you know respawn and you can fly in immediately over here you need to kill a couple of mobs to clear out and then uh, you actually go inside of this um, room over there and in there you need to look for three pumpkins you need to carry those pumpkins to the wagon 
which is pretty easy. And as you can see, if you die because the healer doesn't heal you or whatever reason, um, just jump back in and that's about it. Again, here you have some mobs that can aggro you, but your job is to go and straight up pick up the pumpkins and carry them over there to the wagon. Keep in mind that one person is required to be next to the door because uh, he can open the door when the door closes on you. And this way you collect three pump pumpkins very quickly and you move forward to the second to, to the next stage. In this stage, it is pretty uh, straightforward. You kill all the ads before the boss mini boss spawns over here. Pretty straightforward. Just do as much possible damage over here. If you die, respawn back in, and that's about it. And here is the mini boss. Now this is a pretty easy boss. It is pretty straightforward. You just have to DPS. When he spawns those pillars with those uh, jumping pumpkins, he will also um, assign three big pumpkins to some people. All they need to do is run towards the pillar to the small jumping um, pumpkin. But even if you don't, you'll turn yourself into a big pumpkin and your teammates all they have to do is dps you and you go back to normal so whatever happens on this boss not no big deal now this is the uh, mini game where you need to run towards the final boss and over here if you don't time it well you will just uh, die and respawn and do this over and over again now if somebody is quick and 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 can do this immediately um they will go he's almost done look at this guy he's almost done and now i can respawn inside of the boss so even if you die just wait for the for one of your teammates to reach the the final uh, door and then you guys can respawn inside the person who first went through this mini game will shine like a diamond look at this he's glowing over there he has this disc ball buff all right, and let's uh, take a look at the final boss, which is actually super easy. All you have to do is pay attention to a couple of mechanics. I was explaining here in chat the mechanics while we were actually doing the boss. Don't do that. Just go and, and do as much damage possible. Over here, when he does these two circles, make sure you stay right at the edge between both of them. So you have to just move one step forward and back. He pulls you in, you move back, you move in, that's about it. Now he spawns these bombs, which you need to shoot towards the, the boss, and this will remove the red shirt, the, uh, shield. If you don't do that, he will just have the shield op up and you'll do a little bit less damage to him, and that's about it. Here we, we see repeating mechanics, and here we have the pumpkin, uh, which is pretty simple as well all you have to do is walk towards one of the ones that are glowing and you will turn into a pumpkin and this will prevent you from getting a lot of damage on the next stage and the final stage is he will turn you all into ants and you need to uh i'm sorry not ants uh, flies and over here you need to just time it properly uh and walk walk towards the boss um and that's about it from here on he might repeat one or two mechanics depends how much damage you guys do but this was a pug group they were not super strong my teammates and most of them were probably doing it for the first time but we managed to do it in about 13 to 14 minutes and i've also done like six or seven dun i've done six dungeons already three yesterday and three today and the average time for the dungeons is between 13 15 minutes if you have a good group probably 10 minutes but yeah that's about it good rewards um you have a chance to get cosmetics from these dungeons so yeah just do the dungeons but honestly i'm not even so it you know interested in the cosmetics itself i'm more interested in the rewards because they are pretty good all right and just to recap for you folks um a couple of important things number one make sure you uh exchange your weekly limits over here that those are really really cool stuff that you can unlock uh quality stellar right for the additional five percent uh damage when you pvp probably uh train unlock stones 
super hard to get and super important. Trade extractions, basically everything that has a weekly limit in it, buy it. Don't overthink it. Buy it first. Make sure you exchange it over here. The, the personal way that I'm going to approach this is I'm not going to exchange these for... Um, the cosmetical stuff because this can actually drop from the boss from the dungeon itself and i will be running this dungeon every single day sooner or later hopefully i will get all of these if i don't well then i could actually spend the remaining coins over here but i will prioritize the weekly stuff first i've already purchased them out for this week so i'm good i now i can stock up and honestly the most the most pumpkins that i will be receiving i will be spending probably for cooking the event meals which is one of them is increasing your uh, damage the other one is increasing your efficiency for grinding uh, abyssal contract tokens um and you get the 50 percent mastery increase which is great so log in daily to check in and take these and make sure you do that on both of your characters if you have an alt even if it's not level up make sure you just log in and accept these rewards you might thank me later um make sure you get these you don't have to do the dungeons every single day. Again, you can stock up on the corns and you can do them later on. Exchange the weekly reward. That's pretty much it. That's the event. And with that being the said, ladies and gentlemen, this is about the video. I hope this was helpful and you figured out what to do in this Halloween event. Um, if you do want to see more of my future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and maybe support this video by liking it. I really appreciate it if you do. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck. Good luck with your drama. Ah, uh,